Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazar of Chess Journal and welcome to another stunner from the Computer Rapid Chess Championship Super Finals between the two top engines Stockwish 17 and the Lila C0. Yesterday we have covered really an immortal, incredible self-stalemate idea by Lila C0 where Lila sacrificed all of its pieces just in order to get a beautiful stalemate position. Really, really one of the greatest chess games that I've seen in my life. Please check it out. The link uh, of this game is uh, here above. It's really, really uh, a spectacular idea that Lila C0 performed. Today I wanted to show you another brilliant positional idea here by Lila C0 where Lila will play an incredible fortress idea. Lila C0 will sacrifice its own queen just in order to reach the fortress position. The fortress position is a position where you cannot get really any progress, where the position is really cemented and you go, don't have access uh, to any weaknesses in your opponent's position. So I think when it comes to really the coolest positional ideas, uh, we'll see more of it uh, from Lila C0 because uh, Lila C0, I think, is more of a human-like chess engine. Stockfish is, of course, the pure calculator, but I think the purest human ideas we see in Lila C0's games. And again, you see also that Stockfish has, again, a tough time to understand blocked-out positions. Uh, we have mentioned many times in one game also that I've covered already, uh, Stockfish lost even with the white pieces in a blocked-out position. So I think uh, Lila C0 has a better, better really position understanding, although uh, Stockfish calculates the position much, much deeper. Uh, so that's why I always love to cover these games because they're having their differences but of course they're simply the strongest chess engines in the world so let's see now this amazing positional idea here by lila c0 with the white pieces the fish open with the move of d4 uh, lila's response was knight to f6 c4 e6 knight to f3 and now after bishop to b4 we have the bogo indian defense knight to d2 uh, here by the fish covering or keeping the dark bishop on the board we have now casting and after move g3 we have now the move d5 here by lila c0 breaking now in the center of the board and now for queen to c2 uh, the last move that was uh, prearranged by the organizer was now the move c6 which is actually not the best of ways here to proceed for black we have to mention it it's simply too passive to go uh, like this a better choice is to play c5 which would be actually then an equal position now for both sides after move c6 by uh, lila stockfish continued bishop to g2 lila continued with the pressure here on the queen side and now stockfish locked out the position simply kept the position close now uh, here on the queen side and you see now the position gets more and more uh, blocked which is i think uh, again in sort of Lila C0's favor. I think Lila C0 has a better position understanding in these types of structures, in these types of positions. The position is getting static. Uh, Stockfish uh, got challenged in this way by Lila C0. Lila continued with knight to d7, preparing, of course, uh, maybe here the move e5. Then, of course, disconnect the this pawns and creating an uh, unbalanced pawn structure in the center of the board. Stockfish continued with castling. a5, a3, bishop takes d2, bishop takes d2, and now knight to e4 by Lila going simply for the bishop on d2 uh, stockfish continues now with bishop to f4 uh, keeps of course the dark bishop on the board and has a great grip a great control around the square e5 f6 by lila with the preparation to somehow as we mentioned somehow to disconnect this pawn to sim simply break and enter uh, here in the center of the board b4 by the fish uh, h6 knight to d2 knight takes d2 and now bishop to d2 a4 the position gets more and more closed uh, which is for a, a good situation for the player that has still the knight on the board the knights of course love uh, the close position like this but the downside in this position for black is obviously that the bishop is still locked here uh, it's simply blocked out by its own pawn structure so that's why if you would have maybe this position with your life square bishop somewhere here already outside of the pawn chain this would be then a perfect position because the position is getting more and more close and then the knight eventually will find its way into the game because the knight is still a flexible piece but with the bishop on c8 it's not such a such a good position here for black uh, my stockfish engine at home evaluates this position as almost a 1.5 evaluation in white's favor so white should be sort of winning here but uh, you see lila has always always great defensive ideas here in mind stock which continues now with the move e4 we have f5 and now e5 okay the position gets more and more blocked out you see 
uh, although uh, as we mentioned the knight loves this kind of a position still uh, the position for the light school bishop gets much much worse and worse so uh, here the light school bishop is simply uh, the light school bishop of black is simply the worst minor piece on the board we have now rook chaff seven and now stockfish goes immediately for the king side attack with the move h4 we have g5 uh, rook to uh, e1 rook to a7 lila is desperately trying now to get some more pieces into the defense because obviously the only side where I see that something could explode uh, in the only side where something could be open is obviously the king side uh, here somewhere maybe on the g file f file maybe on the h file so that's why Lila is trying to get the rooks as fast as it can here on the king side and protect the king on the seventh rank we have now queen to c1 a rook to g7 and now h takes g5 h takes g5 bishop to f3 Stockfish is trying now to somehow get the light school bishop into the game because it's also a little bit neutral, neutralized by black's pawn structure. We have now the move f4, good move by Lila c0 because obviously you, you cannot take here with g takes f4. Then after g takes f4, you're getting even checkmated here. Or even if you try king to h1, then immediately queen to h4 is checkmate. So that's why after move f4, uh, Stockfish had to play now bishop to g4 and now knight to f8. Lila slowly but surely, as we mentioned, uh, uh, maneuvers now the knight because the knight as we also mentioned is a flexible piece the knight will eventually find its way into the game obviously it's a uh, the square g6 is a beautiful square now for the knight we have now king to g2 improvement of the king rook to h7 rook to h1 stock which competes now again even in this position you cannot play g takes f4 uh, because after rook to h4 the bishop gets endangered and if you try something like f3 then after knight to g6 f takes g5 the issue is that uh, you're having a tough time now to defend your uh your age file you could maybe compete uh, but then the knight will come on f4 this one is weak so still still an unclear position but stockfish doesn't want to risk anything on the h file plays now first of all rook to h1 uh, doesn't want now uh, to have some problems on the king side we have now rook from a to g7 good also play so far by lila c0 the king is perfectly fine here on g8 rook from e to g1 and now knight to g6 the beautiful square now for the knight g takes f4 and now rook to h4 the stockfish uh, get challenged in this way lila does even take out now the pawn on f4 because the position could be too too open now after rook to h4 uh stockfish gets the king on f1 wants to escape here somewhere maybe even to the queen side and then of course open somehow the position in front of black's king lila continues with queen to e8 f takes g5 stockfish gained now two pawns you see now but lila c0 had a really really cool idea here after rook to h7 simply putting more pressure on the h while forcing now the reaction by uh white by white on the eight file and now king to e2 again stockfish is trying to escape and slowly but surely push this pawns uh the clear goal i would say here by white is to somehow play the move f4 and then break and enter uh with the move f5 here so the f f pawn should be rolling here we have now king to f8 lila is also trying to escape from potential attacks on the g file we have now rook to g3 knight to e7 uh keeping of course a control of the f5 square we have now queen to c3 lila um, get challenged this way stockfish is trying of course now to get somehow the queen into the game and now queen to g6 important move uh, here i would say again by uh, lila c0 keeping again the control of the f5 score now lila c0 has built a nice defensive structure it's not allowing any progress with f4 and f5 we have now queen to f3 with a check king to g8 and the issue here for white is that you cannot go with queen to f6 if you play here queen to f6 seems tempting seems like a logical idea because the queens could be off the board if you try something like this then the pawns are rolling uh, then you could have even two connected passers here uh this would be then perfect position of course here for white but uh after rook to uh after something like queen to f6 black would play probably the move queen to e4 and then you get checked then again a new check if you try maybe uh to play something like king to f1 then again a new check and the issue is you cannot go here really to this side of the board because queen to h1 leads into checkmate so that's why uh probably the game end with, with perpetual checks with something like this queen to e4 uh queen to c2 and we would have of course 
a thematic draw. So that's why after king to g8, uh, here rook to h3 by uh, Stockfish 17, trying of course to challenge this annoying rook. Lila traded it off. Queen to h3, knight to f5, keep, keeping of course this uh, square f5 fixed now by many pieces. Again, I'm pointing out, even if you try something like bishop to f5 and e takes f5, this is not a winning position here for, um, uh, for, for white because, okay, you are up two pawns, but this bishop is simply out of game. Uh, here, uh, Lila would create, of course, this blockade, and there's simply no access point for white. You can maybe go somehow for the trades of queens, but when the king comes here somehow on g6, there's simply no access here for white's king to get into the game. This bishop uh, will play, of course, on e6, will simply also block out this pawn, and the position would be simply too neutralized, too paralyzed in order to make any progress. So also this are opposite color bishops. So it's again a thematic draw. So that's why for knight to f5, uh, king to f1 here by uh, Stockfish 17. Lila continues with bishop to d7. And now comes the mortal, mortal again uh, here sequence by uh, Stockfish and Lila. Here uh, Stockfish challenged now the queen on h5. Uh, would move bishop to h5, challenges now the queen on g6, and many of us would of course retreat, but then the issue is, when you retreat, there are maybe some opportunities to somehow open the position on this side of the board. Maybe there is the possibility of g6, but the position is really unclear, because now there are maybe some entrance points uh, that white could use. But after bishop to h5, Lila c0 played the incredible bishop to e8. Really, really, really wild stuff. Sacrifice the queen and after bishop to g6 look at this bishop to g6 we have now an incredible really an immortal fortress idea here by lila c0 and there's nothing that can be done you cannot do anything if you sacrifice just the queen maybe here like this if you try maybe to give some material back which is of course a stupid idea then bishop to h uh, bishop to f5 or even e takes f5 is really a draw because again you don't have any access points you don't have uh, any any idea how to get the king into the game. Black will simply control uh, here this uh, e6 pawn and uh, uh, nothing can be done. These are again opposite color bishops and actually it's a draw. So after bishop to g6 here, you don't have access with your queen anywhere on the h file. Everything is covered. The knight on f5 is controlling the h6 square. The bishop is controlling uh, the h7 square. And the king is, of course, controlling the h8 square. Now, after bishop to c1, lila c0 just repeats moves. Place king to g8 and king to g7. And there's nothing that can be done. And after a couple more moves, it was, of course, a thematic draw. Actually, what's really stupid and what bothers me uh, in this AI chess games is that there's no 50 move rule uh here so actually the game was prolonged till the move let me check out 100 and uh 177 so i'm going to just uh, fast forward this uh last moves look at this really, really a little bit stupid here that the engines continued like this let, let me just move the moves that have been played without any analysis because you see lila c0 just repeat moves we have here minimal techno a little bit uh, here tuk, tuk, tuk. Uh, we have here just some pawn movements the king movements and now after a couple more moves the game was obviously uh over because uh here look at this nothing can be done the the king is controlling the queen the queen doesn't have access the bishop stays on g7 knight is staying on f5 only the dark school bishop can move and now um here uh the pawn was moved by uh, by stockfish but really no entrance point here by uh stockfish 17 and after a couple more moves it was beautiful beautiful thematic draw incredible idea let's go back here uh to this critical moment by lila c0 um here uh bishop to e8 to play in this particular position uh allowing here bishop takes g6 and then bishop to g6 amazing really really incredible fortress idea by lila c0 and that's what i meant lila um has more of this i would say human-like ideas in chess uh, where of course stockfish is the pure calculator um but this evaluations by stockfish sometimes bother me uh, because stockfish evaluates when you when it has some spaces it, it evaluates always this position as it's like it's a great position but usually in this blocked out positions you don't have so many chances when the game is getting more and more close you see there's simply no entrance point and lila c0 understands it and even managed to sacrifice its own queen here so great great ideas here again by lila c0 as i said please check out our also two beautiful games played by lila where lila self-stalemated uh 
uh, here um, in one per uh, in one beautiful game and also won the game uh, with the black pieces against the uh, Stockwich 17 also in a close position here are the two links of some two amazing games and if you like this content please hit the subscribe button see you soon with some more videos and what do we say in the end chess is the best of course